Hi, my name is Marisa. Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk with you about the most recent addition to the Estee Lauder concealer family. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiant and I'm going to swatch different shades for you, apply them on me in two days and finally tell you my conclusions about it especially if it's applicable and appropriate for a more mature skin like mine. So if you are interested, just keep on watching. First, some details about the product. So the Double Wear Radiant retails for £24 for 10 milliliters of product. It comes in 22 shades from light to very deep and the small bottle has a Dofa applicator, very big one. The concealer is very thick and when you pull it out from the, the bottle only a little bit comes out. By comparison with the Double Wear Stay in Place Flawless Wear this concealer is less expensive since the Flawless Wear retails for the same price but for 7 milliliters instead of the 10 of this one. It also comes in one more shade, so 22 instead of the 21 from the Flawless Wear. Estee Lauder claims that this concealer is creamy, comforting and blendable with medium to full coverage and radiant finish and that is also long wearing up to 12 hours and crease resistant. Supposedly it also has nourishing properties due to botanical extracts like chia, camelina and cuckoo nut oils. Again by comparison the flawless wear does not possess these nourishing properties but uh, supposedly it's more long wearing and does not crease. I normally use the Double Wear foundation in the shades 2N1 or 2N2 and because my under eye circles are very strong and very bluish I cannot go uh, lighter on the concealer than the shade I have the foundation. So I initially bought the concealer in 2W and I found out that it was entirely too yellow so I went and bought the 2N shade and I still find it quite yellow more than I would expect on a neutral shade and certainly more yellow than the 2N1 shade of the foundation. I'm going to place a photo uh, like immediately for you to, to see that. What I was told as well is that the shades on the foundations and on the different concealers do not match and one of the reasons for it is the formulation uh, which has an impact on the overall shade of the different uh, products. Okay, so I'm going to show you now the footage of the two days of application. Okay, so today I'm going to apply the concealer like we do on a normal day when we have to go to work and we don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to apply with the damp sponge, the one that I use to apply foundation. I'm going to place the same amount of concealer in every eye. And I'm trying to avoid going up to the areas where I have the creases. I'm not going to apply any powder, at least for now. I'm just putting a little bit more on the, my left my left eye because it's the one where the the darkness is greater. Okay, so this is how it looks at the moment. Let's see. 
So eight hours have passed and I wanted to show you how the concealer looks like. Still there, still holding strong. But it has greased. It's like the coverage um, broke on the, um, on the creases. I have already applied my foundation. In order to match the concealer, I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 2N1. And um, normally when I'm filming um, a video or I go out or have any party, I use a concealer, sorry, a corrector beneath the concealer. Um, the one that I'm using at the moment and it's the one that I like the most is the Becca and the Rye Brightening Corrector. I use it in medium to deep. I've used in the past as well and the Benefit Boeing Brightening Concealer in the shades. This one that I have here is the shade 3. I find it to I find this one to be emollient but not really hydrating and I need uh, concealers and correctors that are at least a little bit hydrating and I like the the back one for this so in order to make a good test of the um, concealer I'm going to apply the corrector on my left eye which is the one that has the darkest uh, and the eye circles and also the deepest um, depression here um, which is more sunk and therefore shows more the um, highlights more the, the, the under eye circles. I use the normal skincare that I used every day which is this roller from Clinique. I like it because it has hyaluronic acid and um, it has caffeine so it's good to refresh and to reduce any puffiness that I may have and then I place a little bit of CeraVe High Repair Cream uh, which also has hyaluronic acid and three ceramides good moisturizer for the eyes to apply the corrector, I use a very tiny brush. This is by Anastasia and I believe is a lip brush, but I like to use for this. So I just take the tiniest amount of corrector on the tip of the brush and I apply this only here. in the front here be beneath the normal pigmented skin area and the the beginning of the dark circle and i then i just spread it like this with the tip of the brush and if any goes outside the area that i want i just clean it with a cotton bud I don't bring the corrector upwards towards the bottom lash line because this area here, as you can see, it's very wrinkled and the more products we place in that area, the more it will crease. So I'm just brushing it very lightly like this and I will not bring it upwards. And then sometimes I go in and press with my finger to make sure the corrector sinks into the skin as best as possible. And that's it, my corrector application. Now I'm going to apply the concealer. I'm going to put three little dots of concealer. And this is just about what I normally use in terms of quantity. I find that if I increase more the quantity of concealer, it will crease more and it will give a more, a less natural appearance to the eyes. I use one brush like this, a stubby brush, this one is from Real Techniques, and I just 
spread the concealer and I use the same method that I use for the corrector. Sometimes I bring it upwards as well to the eyes and I'm not sure you can see this is the foundation in 2N1 this is the concealer in 2N and still it's in a more yellowy shade than the foundation so when I think it's sufficiently spread I go in with another Real Techniques brush this one is more like a buffing brush and I blend in the areas next to the foundation or the eyes and here I spread it slightly upwards so I'm going to get close and I'm looking through the view mirror please forgive me I just want to make sure that you will be able to see I'm just applying and the concealer is already settling on the creases in the inner corner here and here it's not much but it's already there so I'm going to try to brush through there and I'm not going to powder it I want to see how long does it take to like crease all over the place I'm going to spread this eye it has very good coverage it's, as you can see and it does brighten up the eye area I'm trying to buff the edges of the concealer to make it blend with this area of the eye and here I'm going to do a spot application on the concealer here we would think that at 49 years old I would know by now not to go with my fingers at the little bump in my skin but it seems that some things never change so I'm going to apply the reminder of my makeup and I uh, will continue to control the, the appearance of my under eye areas when it starts to like definitely crease I will be back to show you hi I'm back and it's now seven hours and a half since I applied the concealer I have not blotted or powder either the foundation or the concealer and uh, as you can see everything is looking old and oily on the t-zone I'm going to blot it a little bit being shiny on the t-zone after seven hours and a half it's pretty normal regarding the concealer <clears throat> I'm going to get close to you to show in detail my under eyes um, it's now nine o'clock in the night and at this hour with or without concealer my eyes always look very tired and more and my under eyes zone area always more sunk but taking in consideration that I didn't powder it I'm surprised honestly I'm going to stretch my eyes <laughs> stretch not cross it it's kind of peculiar doing strange faces to the camera so I have checked it on a normal mirror and I cannot see any creasing but when I look in this but when I look in this mirror which has a five times magnification I can see a small deposit on the, the, the lines of my eyes but it's still there but as I said I'm surprised because this just proves that that light and very careful application of the concealer that I did today it did work because of the two times I used it before it always creased immediately so what are my final thoughts regarding this concealer so it does have the claimed coverage from medium to full uh, it's creamy it's comfortable and it's long wearing I um, 
the most I had it was up to 10 hours which is not the claimed 12 but still it's a good amount of time on a less positive note the concealer does settle into creases and it varies from the most minuscule amount that you almost cannot see at uh, in a normal mirror to uh, um, a good amount clearly um, highlighted creases with pigment with the pigmentation and it depends on the method of application and also on the quantity of concealer that is applied. I think that if a um, bigger quantity than the one that I used is applied, um, it will look kind of creepy, creepy and, and cracked like a pool of mud that has dried on the sun if you allow me this comparison you can say that uh, I didn't powder the concealer and um, all concealers crease if they are not powdered yes it's true um, but I think that um, what the powder will do is also to increase the dryness of the under eye area and um, increase also the appearance of age so it's up to you to decide which kind of look do you prefer so as a final conclusion can we the proud owners of more mature skin use this concealer yes and we can make it look good but we need to be a little bit extra careful how we use it and i hope my video has been useful to show you that and that's it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed it and i hope it was useful as well if yes please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and following me on instagram Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!